Washington, Griff, thanks. Let's bring in Wyoming Senator, Republican John Barrasso from the Hill Center. Thank you for your time and good morning to you. Let's see how much we can thank get you, through. Uh, yeah. Thank you. In the next four minutes time here, what happens today? What's your, what, were you there yesterday? You will be there today. What is your sense of the moment? I'll for be a there senator? You know, it's interesting, Bill. There's going to be split screen, basically. We are going to pass USMCA, this wonderful trade agreement that President Trump has put together to put, um, it's an America first trade agreement. And shortly thereafter, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court will swear us in as jurors for the impeachment trial. And look, every, spend, every moment we spend on impeachment is time. We're not doing the work of the American people in terms of working to lower drug costs, in terms of working uh, to build infrastructure, highways, bridges, roads. There's lots of work to be done. So I want to get through this trial and get to justice. What do you think of this Lev Parna story that broke last night, continues today, sir? It's been written up in the New York Times and elsewhere. Well, the House impeachment will be able to present any case they want as well. What it shows, though, is how rushed the process was in the House. They could have taken their time, gotten all of the information they wanted, and then put together the case. What they chose to do, claiming urgency, is do in a very rushed and sloppy fashion, put together what I believe is a very weak case. It was clearly partisan, clearly rushed, uh, and now they are going to decide what they're going to present. We will hear the evidence that the House managers choose to present. A couple more things here. Marsha Blackburn last hour, she's got an interesting idea. She thinks at least four senators should recuse themselves. Here's what she said last hour. Their day job is a senator. Their night job is going out and running for president. So they should recuse themselves. There is precedent for individuals seeking to be recused or should have been recused. This came up in 1868 in the Andrew Johnson impeachment. So I think that this is something that should be considered by the body. Here the senator, she's talking about Michael Bennett, Colorado, Amy Klobuchar, Elizabeth Warren, and Bernie Sanders. Your position on that is what? Well, a number of those senators have actually said that they have already made the decision that the president ought to be removed from office. They're not going to be sitting and listening as impartial jurors. They've already made their predetermined answer without ever hearing a defense from the White House. Remember, in the House, the White House, the president wasn't able to present a defense. It was not a, there was no due process for the president. They held meetings behind closed doors in the basement of the Capitol. Uh, that's why only a, one out of three Americans believe what the House did was fair and even handed. And I think the the same thing we're going to see is coming from the Democrats in the Senate. Okay, this is like Jeopardy now. D did any senator recuse themselves in 1868? Is, no idea. Did that happen? Don't know. All right, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll look for an answer and get back to you on that. Witnesses, okay. here is what is possible now. Mick Mulvaney, John Bolton, Michael Duffy, Robert Blair. Uh, for Republicans, Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, Adam Schiff, and the anonymous whistleblower. Do you think any of that happens, yes or no? Well, um, I would rather not go down that line or make those decisions until after we hear from what the Democrats say that come over with their articles of impeachment, hear the defense from the White House, and then have them answer our questions. The senators are going to submit questions in writing through the Chief Justice. Then we will decide if any witnesses at all are needed or if we are ready at that time to say, we have heard enough, we are ready to vote. If you start bringing in witnesses, Bill, this just delays uh, getting to the important work of the American people. And this, tr this could go just drag on, for, in my opinion, far too long. Well, what is this your is a completely yeah. partisan project. I've got to run. What is your sense about how long it lasts? Is it two weeks? Is it a month and a half? What is it? Well, I think that that's the way to look at it. Uh, two weeks to make the case from the both the House as well as the White House and for them to answer our questions. And then we will hold a vote. Do we need to hear more information or are we ready to vote the final decision about uh, the impeachment and this president? And, and I believe that the president will not be removed uh, from office. And uh, that's, that's what I would say right now. Senator, thank you for your time. John Barrasso from The Hill will speak again, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. A lot more.